Hello folks, welcome to my quick look of the Madrona Labs Alto, which is a modular synthesizer uh, plug-in. It's capable of creating all sorts of funky, strange noises, and I'm going to take you through a quick tour of a few of those and how they are made. There are, by the way, a bank of, oh, I don't know, about a hundred or so patches uh, that come packaged uh, inside of the Alto. And serve to illustrate the, the kind of range of sounds that can be uh, generated with this thing. You can make everything from beats, uh, and we'll look at a couple of those, to uh, beautiful melodic pads, complete garbage, you know, where it, it, it just makes the nastiest noise you've ever heard, uh, and everything in between. If you'll notice the jumble of different colored uh, arrows, that are being drawn uh, between the modules. Those are the virtual uh, patching cables. Uh, and the general direction of those patching cables is from top to bottom. On the top of the plug-in, you see an array of five different exciter modules that kind of you know, create the envelopes, the LFOs, uh, the sequencer that all send signals down to uh, the modules that actually make noise themselves. So on the bottom, uh, there's an array of another five modules uh, from left to right. You've got a complex oscillator uh, that is controlled by a gate uh, that decides whether or not noise is actually going to come out from the complex oscillator and into uh, the wave guide slash delay. And that's a very beautiful uh, sort of tape delay sounding delay that can actually generate noise all on its own. Uh, and if you heard the sort of bendy bass stuff that was playing about a minute ago, that was all created uh, strictly through tiny bits of the complex oscillator gating out and exciting the delay to, to make bass tones all on its own. Uh, if you notice, the oscillator is locked to uh, only A notes, and uh, the waveguide slash delay is locked to certain root uh, frequencies as well, uh, and you, you can't really move in between those. And what the authors of this plugin have done, or, or author, I should say, it's, it's just one guy, I believe, um, is they, they made some, you know, they used their creative license, they made some calls uh, to lock down certain parts uh, of this plugin, uh, certain parameters that, you know, it's either you get one, you get, you know, an array of maybe ten, or, or you get no choice in the matter at all. For instance, a reverb, the reverb's just the reverb. You turn it on, you turn it off, you you know decide how loud it is that's that's the only thing you can do to it if you want a more complex reverb that's a little more malleable you, you'll just go farther down the chain you'll go outside the plugin to find that uh, you can see that right now I'm messing with the sequencer up top I was hitting the question mark button which generates random sequences this is one of those beats this is all being created by just this one plugin and you know a, a few different very neat tricks are used to create something that sounds like a drum beat and you know so the the whole ethos of this plugin is that you really have to play around and discover how the modules can interact with each other in interesting ways to make all different types of audio you know um, and it's just very very adjustable a lot of the dials are extremely touchy where uh, a tiny change in what you've done to them creates huge differences, huge impacts on, on the sound that eventually does come out. Uh, these plugins have up to four voices uh, that will all run concurrently and it's um, essentially like having you know the plugin brought up four different times and as you can see the patch bay runs from small output nodes to larger input dials the input dials are adjusted either clockwise or counterclockwise to decide the severity of the uh, change that's going to come in from the signal and whether the signal is going to be treated as a positive signal or a negative influence if you will 
And you can see that a lot of the modules up top also have dials on them, meaning that they will accept inputs from other modules up top, other outputs up top. So you can have the thing interacting with itself in all sorts of ways before it ever excites any of the actual noise-making modules on the bottom. Uh, you can make the sequencer sort of rock back and forth and jump all over the place. And as you can see, the larger dials feature kind of wiggly, wavy lines that indicate uh, the severity of the effect of the uh, incoming signal and what it, what exactly it's doing to it. So that was my quick look, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And please do check out uh, the Alto. It's, a, it's an absolutely excellent device, uh, extremely versatile perfect for basically anything you want to use it for.